Alright guys, this is going to be my breaking it down Barney style for anybody who uh, wants to try and get a little bit better at Jets. I know it's a little bit late in the game, um, but you know what? Hey, what you're going to experience now is a lot of people are going to play in Battlefield Hardline. There's going to be a lot of new players because uh, Battlefield 4 is getting cheaper, so you'll have uh, quite the advantage um, if you uh, follow what I tell you to do in here. Um, right now, I got a Razor Naga Hex. Um, I have it at... Uh, my sensitivity is at 800 DPI, basically just keeping it that low for um, for when I run around on the ground. Uh, it just helps me aim a little bit better, control my recoil. Um, I have my vehicle mouse sensitivity at 35%. My pulling rate's at uh, 1,000 for the mouse as well. Um, I'll show you my key bindings. For my injet, my throttle down, my brake is spacebar, and my the most important thing, my pitch up is S. Um, that way, I, I'm not con constantly scrolling my mouse. So once again, throttle down is space, pitch up is S. Some people have uh, pitch up as space bar, throttle down is you know S like a like a default. So but that's you know that's pretty much your choice. I'm gonna turn down my uh, master audio here. All right, and we'll zoom and we'll hop in a jet. All right. So what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to turn sideways and I'm going to hold down S and just spinning. I'm not scrolling the mouse, I keep a constant spin. And uh, now, here and now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start tapping the brake because the magic number and for the physics right now in Battlefield 4 is 313. So, and you'll see the drastic change with speed control. So, if you slow down, past that you'll see it slows down get it back up to speed it's fast again and then you'll see it slow down again so three roughly around 313 is what you want to keep it and it's just a simple tap you'll find your rhythm all right now it, just, it doesn't work it's not the same for not the same for vertical loops all right so for vertical loops because gravity affects you you can't just hold it down you can't just keep on tapping the brake when you go vertical you have to tap your afterburner to maintain that speed. And I tap quickly. I don't know what anybody else does, but as you can see, I just try to keep my speed right around 313, which is the magic number. So then, you know, it's a little bit different for angular loops, diagonal loops. Right? But basically, the better, the closer you can come to 313, the better off you'll be. So. But that's that. So, um, any questions uh, or anything else you want me to go uh, further elaborate on? Just let me know. Thanks, guys.